What is up guys? Welcome to my channel. Today presenting my another leather project, the passport holder. Tools required are shown here. These are not the final list of tools. As you progress through this project, this will change as per your requirement. Start by cutting the leather as per the pattern. This passport holder has five parts. One main cover, the left inner slot, the right inner slot and two pockets. Taking the right inner slot, start sanding the three edges which needs to be stuck to the main cover. Then sand the edges inside of the main cover. This will ensure a strong grip when sticking these two parts. Apply the contact cement on the sanded edges of both the parts. Let's prepare the left inner slot. Before sticking the inner slot to the main cover, stick the pockets first. And before sticking the pockets, burnish the edges of the two pockets using tokenol. This is the best burnishing agent. I realized by applying the tokenol on the outer side, it creates a darker texture. Stick the inner pocket first. Scrape the area to apply the contact cement. This will ensure a firm grip. Apply the contact cement, let it dry for a few seconds before sticking the two parts. Use the glass slick to get a shine on the burnished area. We need to stitch the bottom of the inner pocket. Using the chisel, punch the holes. Using the stitching pony is very comfortable for stitching. I always prefer doing a saddle stitch with two needles. It's easy and has a firm grip. I'm using the wax thread for stitching. By burning the edge of the thread ensures that it will never come out. Now stick the second pocket. Follow the same edging process before sticking. This will ensure a firm grip.
round cut the top right edge to give a clean finish. Before sticking the section to the main cover, sand the inner edges and burnish it using tokonol. Following the same procedure, stick the inner left pocket to the main cover. Scrape the edges, stick the glue, keep it for a few seconds and then attach it to the main cover. Notice that here I'll be sticking only the two sides keeping the upper slot open to slide in the boarding pass. Give shape to all four corners. Now using the edge creaser, mark the stitching line on all four sides. chisel start punching holes along the crease line. You will notice that I will not be stitching the top left and side inner slot. Now start stitching. Like I said before, I prefer the saddle stitch. It's easy, it's fast and it has a firm grip. will take a long time so have patience and go slow. Now let's level this 
stitched leather using the sandpaper. This will ensure a smooth edges on all four sides. Apply tokenol and burnish the edges for smooth and shiny edge. passport holder is ready it can hold passport few cards and a boarding pass thank you for watching hope you enjoyed watching the video please like comment share and do subscribe.